Hi folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report. You know, one of the things that uh, I've really wanted to sort of give you my message that is dwelling within me is how each year things change. Now look at just recently how in the winter, you know, we look back at other winters and we said, oh, this is nothing like it was at one time, or oh, this is colder this year and so forth. But we can't count on anything to remain the same. We've had a massive cold series, and that's going to change our ice fishing. And I think to the, to the conditions that I go to each year in these tributaries, and what I find is because through each season, there may be calamities or there may be severe weather things that might even change the flow of a stream. Or as that stream gets high in the beginning, things are going to wash down. And they're going to change the, the structure in the environment in certain places that the fish have. So fish have new choices. There's going to be, I've noticed each year, and going to my favorite places, let's just say, let's just zone in on the Grass River. Each year, the fishing in the Grass River changes. There's, there's difference in the water quality that I see. One year, it may be all slimy. And when it's slimy, and what I'm talking about the slime is, is sort of a weed growth that's, that's almost slimy in its nature. And you cast out, and you can't bring your lure a foot before it's covered in slime. That changes the fishing. It changes the, 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 the environment for the fish. Other times, the water may get lower than it ever has before. And so when it gets low, it changes where the fish go and it changes what you have. But I think the important thing for us is to realize that everything is in flux, no matter what. Each year, it's going to be different. We're going to have different conditions. We're going to find different, we're going to discover different things. But we constantly have to keep an open mind and we constantly have to be experimenting because if we rely constantly on what worked before, it may stop working as well. And I've had so many cases of this. I've had times each year where I find a new lure that tends to work better. Is it me? Is it because this new, the fish haven't seen the lure before? Or is it just that the fish are just as maybe internally aware that changes are taking place and they're just as adaptable to these changes as we need to be as fishermen. Until next time, folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report.